there. Good morning. Uh, I'm Dr. Allison Bested, and I've met uh, many of you uh, by email, and uh, it's been lovely getting to know you. Uh, I'm the new medical director of the Complex uh, Chronic Diseases Program at BC Women's Hospital and Health Centre. It's wonderful to be here in this beautiful new building, and after five months of preparation to see all of our speakers and guests together gathered in this room from around the world on this momentous occasion, the Lyme Disease Think Tank. I would like to thank BC Women's Hospital and the Provincial Health Services Authority and the University of British Columbia for its tremendous support to allow, on behalf of the patients with Lyme disease, the creation of this think tank. I would invite everyone to offer thanks and praise in whatever way they feel is appropriate to ask for guidance and wisdom for our deliberations throughout the day so that we may build momentum to propel us forward on behalf of the patients with Lyme disease, both creatively and constructively during our Lyme disease think tank. Next, I'd like to introduce Dr. Michael Barnett. Dr. Michael Barnett is from the University of British Columbia. He trained in medical oncology at St. Bartholomew's Hospital in London before joining the Leukemia Bone Marrow Transplant Program of British Columbia in 1986. He served as a director from 1996 to 2001. And after spending two years back at St. Bartholomew's as professor of the transplantation oncology, he returned to Vancouver in 2003 as the head of the Division of Hematology at the University of British Columbia. Dr. Barnett spends his professional time overseeing the activities of the Division of Hematology, and he has a particular interest in myeloid leukemias. We welcome Dr. Michael Barnett from the University of British Columbia's Faculty of Medicine to our Lyme Disease Think Tank. Good morning, uh, Alison, thank you very much. Uh, you're probably thinking, why, why is he here, and uh, why was he asked to um, make the opening remarks, which um, I, will, I will attempt to explain. Um, I, I am also the uh, Associate Head of Medicine, and um, on, on a few occasions each year when Dr. Manili is unable to uh, attend meetings like this, he asked me to, to stand in, which I'm very pleased uh, to do so. Uh, I've been, as, perhaps as a background, I would say that so the usual, the typical uh, standing in involves um, sometimes meetings like this, but also sometimes awards events. And um, so when I first took on the job about seven years ago, I was dispatched to the UBC Faculty of Medicine Awards Night um, when I had to introduce uh, uh, with a small summary about 10 minutes for each of the members of the Department of Medicine who had been promoted to full professor. So I decided this was a fairly um, serious event and I would not um, say anything particularly amusing and uh, so I went on for a long time so that the audience was in deep slumber at the end of it. And I, what I had not realized was that there was a, a sequence of department heads that is basically the same each year. So the next department head stood up and said that um, he was delighted to be back at this meeting, particularly so as this year he did not have to follow such a witty and erudite speaker as Dr. Manili. <laughs> so, um, I'm hoping to say a few things of vague interest and might be amusing uh, in this address, but um, I start from a position of ignorance, and certainly I think that's probably true of a, a number of physicians in regard to Lyme disease. Um, I did what I usually do, that is, left everything until last night, and I asked my daughter to prepare a, f a file for me about Lyme disease, so I quickly around midnight became knowledgeable about Old Lyme, Connecticut in the 1970s, uh, the duration of President Bush's treatment in 2006, and the fact that this is, became a notifiable disease in 2009 here in, um, here in Canada, and also about the stages of the disease, um, whether there is a post-Lyme, a chronic Lyme, uh, the controversies about um, testing, the inaccuracies of testing, 
the public health issues. So, and also, as, as someone who rarely leaves the city, the horrendous thought of a tick being attached to the skin for 24 to 36 hours, which I'd never even uh, crossed my mind that that could happen. And it certainly won't happen to me, because I'm st <laughs> I intend to stay in Vancouver or everywhere else and not enter any wooded areas. So um, I think this is um, uh, a fascinating disease, and this is a wonderful opportunity and uh, a marvellous setting to have this meeting. Um, I think, um, at least in my opinion, this meeting uh, is an opportunity to bring together a number of individuals with diverse backgrounds. Um, and it's, it's clearly, uh, I think, about engagement, not about consensus. Um, I say that um, as long as reading, as well as reading about Lyme disease last night, I of course was reading the newspapers about um, the death of Baroness Thatcher. And of course, there in any number of quotes, but the great quote from her is about consensus, which um, she didn't entirely agree with, of course. And she was asked, um, is there any, any time when, when you believe in consensus? And her reply was, yes, I believe there should be a strong consensus behind my convictions. <laughs> and uh, which I think highlights that this is not about consensus. This is about a great opportunity for engagement today. So um, I hope that will be the case. Thank you.